Hey ho friends. Beef just walked across here with wet feet. Are you surprised? Because I'm not. Alright, let's turn this over. We got a bunch going on this week. A bunch, a bunch, a bunch. Alright, let's do... Let's get these grocery stickers down. Order on Sunday for the Wednesday the following. And the Wednesdays are our therapy and errand day. So they work. They work good for the Walmart pickup. Planner comes out Fridays. Let's see if I can use some of those. Cutie by a little laundry basket girl. Let's use that big one. And coffee sticker just cuz you guys we just did these nails oh my god I love them we just did them in Shannon's group and they're good <coughs> let's see moving these down here for a sec okay what week is this Okay, this is also the week where we stand a chance at getting, uh, whoops, not Friday. Ooh. The sub box. So, that could also wind up in there. We don't know yet. And then, a bunch of med refills and some angry beef stew oh I tore his tail on that one he would not appreciate that even a little bit get rid of that get rid of it try again this time there we go and I need to his little ear so he's accurate these are going here because he's got to get his shave <laughs> that doesn't make him happy it does make him happy after though he gets very proud of his newly newly done stuff All right, now, let's get these out of the way. Because I do have a lot I gotta put on here for this week. Let's use, let's use Do What Feels Fun. And then we need one of these on the six. Six, seven, eight. I need another one of those. I need some more boxes going. Put this on the fifth. All right. 
right. Let's start there. Let's start there. Okay, so Beef's getting his shave at 8 a.m. on the 8th. So he is a sedate and shave because otherwise he's a little tiny bit like Satan. <laughs> he gets real mean. <laughs> real mad honestly I understand you guys because last time he was sedated well originally when he met the vet they tipped his ear so he's never going to be happy about it so I pull food at 10 p.m. the night before and give him meds at like 10 p.m. and then at 6 a.m. the next morning he gets meds again no food no water and then I drop him off at 8 in the morning. Um, on the 5th, from midnight to 6 a.m., no internet. What? They're doing work on it. February 6th is Culligan... We have a ton of rust in our water right now because the water softener is not working and they'll be here somewhere between 8 and 3 because you could never ever stand a chance at getting more precise than that. Okay, now February meds to fill. I don't write these notes. I don't remember. Okay, and then bump that out to March. And I believe that we end in March, you guys. Let me look. And we'll be in a new, yeah. We'll be in a new one. Oh my gourds. Even though it's new, I think it looks just the same. Okay, now. Mess, mess, mess. Let's get this. Okay. <clears throat> now, if you got no interest in what's been going on in my puzzling world, then you want to be not right here. Hang on. Beef stew also left footprints on this, so. All right. Stickers. Belongs to me. Added some big stickers that I got from Kelly. All right, so here's where we're at. Let me make sure you guys can see. Yes, you can. So, $35.50 for pieces for this month. Did Ravensburger Cozy Retreat, Christmas Story by Seiko, Winnie the Pooh by Seiko, A Wizard One by Sun's Out, um, The Ants Party One, which I adored by Springbok, and then Puzzle Face, and that is the brand of it, is Puzzle Face. So let's do, okay, so we wanted, want to hit 25,000 pieces or more this year, and that's easy peasy with where we're at right now at 3550 because... Um, I felt like I barely had any time for puzzling this month and still got thirty five fifty. dollars so that's, that's pretty good. Um, also everything on here so far I've been using for Puzzle Bingo. Have not bought any, but here's what I've been doing you guys is when I find something I'm like, oh my god I love that. Then I put it on my wish list on Amazon and then my thought is that in like October when I can get the new um, puzzle advent calendars, 
the new advent calendars for the year, I can also go through and see what I still love. Also, for these, um, oh, we can add in the numbers. Number of puzzles we finished. One, two, three, four, five. We did six, which to me didn't feel like much, but I wanted to do at least four. Um, my favorite was the ants. Was adorable and fun. Um, I don't know what that means, completed, because number of finished puzzles is the same as completed, isn't it? Maybe not. I don't know. Okay, so next month's goal. Um, next month's goal, I'm going to put it eight. And then I'm going over here. I need a little sticker. Because why not? Put this here. We're going to put the goal is eight right inside that little piece because that's cute. And this is for February 2024. Alright. Oh, we can put total pieces too. Yay. 3550. All right, now, there are more month and year pages than there are, like, individual pages to put your puzzles. So, I did three per page, even though I didn't initially start out that way, you guys. That's what I wound up doing because I don't know how else, like, otherwise I'm going to run out of these, like, ratings pages long before I run out of the month and year and I don't want to do that so initially I started by just doing the puzzle on a page but then wound up doing three so this is a little discombobulated which hopefully will get better next month so um this was a Ravensburger cozy retreat 500 pieces and this is the picture of my finished puzzle all three of these are my finished puzzles um and then I printed them on my little um, sprocket printer. And it prints a sticker, you guys. So then I just peel it, stick it. Okay, so awesome chunky pieces, but it had so many bent knobs, which is a constant find for me with Ravensburger, and which is why I don't buy them. I don't go looking to buy a Ravensburger puzzle at all. I just don't. Um, if I find it at a thrift shop, I'll grab one if I like the image. And that's one of the problems for me is that I love so many of their images. But their quality in the U.S. is shit. And like what I hear comparatively for the quality in Europe and stuff like where they're based, totally different. Which is a super big bummer um, based on the volume of puzzles that get bought here. But nonetheless, here we are. So anyways, that's where that was. I gave it a rating of a four. My rating's based on like how I felt it went together and the image combined. Okay, so this Sun's Out puzzle, I gave a three because I don't love a watercolor image. That's really not my jam. I don't like those kind of soft lines where I can't pick out where it's going to go in the puzzle. Um, but Sun's Out cut is my jam. It's a random cut puzzle. They fit so tight and so good, you could just pick, you could have just picked it up, like picked up a corner, and then just don't love the watercolor art, which is why it got a three. Now, Springback is like the best of all worlds. I love their art, which this ant art was so my jam. Loved it. I gave it five stars, 500 pieces. Um, the art was adorable. The fit was adorable, or the fit was super, super, super tight. And it was a random cut, which is the best of all my worlds. And then over here, okay, again, I started with this thinking it was just going to be for this puzzle. And that's not how it is going forward. So over here, this page will look a little different next month because I know that now. Puzzle Face. Nathan got me this for Christmas, you guys. And it's like... um. All these different shaded pieces use a QR code and 
put upload a picture, which I just use my picture that's my profile picture everywhere. Uploaded the picture and um, it turns it into the puzzle. And then on the back of the puzzle are all these like numbers one through 60 and then different shapes like a red half circle, an orange star, a green something, a something something. <laughs> anyway, so then you follow the grid pattern they've given you and then you flip the puzzle over. Again, this held together ridiculously well. Flip it over and you'll have your picture, okay? It was only 300 pieces. Not really a puzzle because you're building off this like grid that they've given you off the, off the, um, what is the word I'm looking for here? I can't think of it. Like off their plan, right? I gave it two stars. It was fine. Do I feel like this is something I would want to play with endlessly? No. If I never do it again, I'm okay with that. Um, okay. Christmas Story is the main one up here. Seiko, 750 pieces. I gave it three stars because this was a thrifted puzzle and there was like 11 billion missing pieces. And this dark, like the dark spots were so dark. The image on the box was brighter than what the pieces were, which happens often. But the cut of the pieces was great. It held together so flippin' tight. I mean, yeah, that's what I have here. Pieces held great, random cut, four missing pieces, thrifted, too dark of an image, which is why it wound up with a three piece. Even though I love A Christmas Story and was really looking forward to this, um, it took like the right mood for me to just go, okay, we're doing this. We're doing it. We gotta get it done. Okay, now flash forward. Also, this puzzle's from like 20 years ago, right? From Seiko. Seiko is still a brand, a very popular brand at that because they're great prices. Okay, so Winnie the Pooh, I gave it four stars. Also Seiko and super fun and fast image. Gi I mean giant pieces. It was super fun. Like, it, you started over here with giant and then it worked across to smaller pieces. They're called, the puzzles themselves are called Together Time. Um, and that's not Winnie the Pooh base. That's just, they have this line of puzzles called Together Time. So the idea is that you could have a little kid working on these giant pieces, doing like a third of the puzzle. And then a third of the puzzle is medium sized pieces. And a third of the puzzle is the small pieces, you guys. It was so, so fun. That aspect of it was freaking brilliant and fun because you did the first third of it, you know, as an adult in a heartbeat, right? Um, but it didn't hold together great and the quality of the pieces wasn't great. And it just was funny to me because I was still doing a Seiko puzzle, which is the same as this, but the quality and um, thickness and hold were like you were doing a completely different brand, but it's just a matter of, you know, what's happened over 20 years and mainly I think what's happened since pandemic. Just puzzles are popular. They're trying to get them out faster, that kind of thing. So anyway, there's a quick puzzle update if you were interested in it. And then I will start February's here and my goal is at least eight puzzles for February, which shouldn't be, you know, too totally bad, I don't think. February is, well, 29 days, so it's not that much shorter. But I don't have as much going on in February, and that will help a lot. So, um, I'm still trying to figure out which puzzle I want to do that is oh, oh, a bigger piece puzzle. And I know I put on here 2,000 or more, but the one that I did previously was 3,000 pieces. So, I think I would like to do one that's 3,000 or more. Um, so that I'm trying something I haven't done before. Just like, you know, something bigger. We'll see. So anyway, there it is, my friends, if you're keeping up on it. And this part of it, this little puzzle bit, will only be in, like, the end of the month. Plan with me. I will give a quick update on this for those that are following along. So there we go, friends. Have a good one. See you next week.